Jeremy Lee was fired up, and he has this crowd fired up. He's in the zone. You know, he's in the crowd, and, you know, you feel up the energy around the place. So, uh, I know he's excited right now, and he's getting fired up. When I'm on the court, it's just, uh, I play with, uh, I try to play with all my emotion and all my heart, and, uh, I don't really try to hold too much back. Perhaps the most unlikely is Nick to be the hero. What a story here tonight in the Garden. Man, he's just like a big man coming from nothing. Oh, I heard about him starting this week, and I was going, what the hell is going on? He's pretty good. He's the best. What is this guy? I need to see him. I mean, he deserves it. I mean, the man was set. He told me he was staying on his brother's couch. He did what it, what it takes to play. He's a role model. Give Jeremy all the credit in the world. You know, perseverance says a lot. That's what he's all about right now. Jeremy, how did Grandma's chitlin? <laughs> I just love the game. I love playing with this team. I love playing for this coach. And it's just a lot of fun right now. It really has been a special story. People love an underdog. And boy, oh boy, is this kid an underdog. And you see, he's been grinning from ear to ear. He has enjoyed every moment of it. And part of it's because how hard he has worked to get here. I got him, I got him, don't worry. And you'd love to see that. It just, he's talking out there. You can see him now. He's going to be taking Lynn out to dinner soon. <laughs> Lynn with the deflection and the steal. Lobs to Chandler and the finish. Jeremy Lin picking up where he left off. And the Knicks go up by eight. I know he has a dinner coming now. Harris has done a good job on Lin. It's that crossover move back to Jeffries. Lin with a jump shot. Knocks it down. 11 points, eight assists for Jeremy Lin. Shot clock down to seven. Shumper telling Jeffries to get out of the way. Shumper looking to take Rajah Bell. Drives on him. Inside. Lays, flips it up. Chandler keeps it alive. Lin has to put it up. A three-pointer as the shot clock expired. Chandler kept it alive. There's Lynn. Just active and aggressive. Alley up to Chandler. Oh, a beautiful pass from Lynn. And Jeremy Lynn. Can... Jeremy Lynn right now looks absolutely spent. Bumped by Petro. Gets to the rim. Count and a foul. Obviously not completely spent. There's a strong drive to the basket. Bring it from the crowd. Little fancy shot clock at eight. Splits the defense again. Gets to the rim. Pucks it in. And a foul. Wow. Jeremy Lynn does it again. It's early. And Shumpert. Cross court for Novak. His three-pointer is good. Over so far has led to 12 New York points. Make it 14. Seven straight times. Nobody's stopping Jeremy Lin on that play. You can see him say, let's go. Yeah. My job, I didn't even know if I was going to have a roster spot. And now, Mike, he's the toast of New York. In a word, he said overwhelming is what this past week has been like. He said my parents and I were kind of... Here again, you see the difference with the size of the Laker front line when he penetrates. Lynn shot, knocks it down, a three-pointer. Well, you can see why he, he can keep is being exploited because he's playing him soft. This is what I like. I like this. Lynn picks it up. Lynn drives in and lays it in. That was excellent defense. Lynn with five assists. Tough turnaround shot. Gets it to go. 16 points for Lynn. Okay. That's when we talk about high IQ. Give him those jump shots. Just don't let him put it down on the floor. Lynn likes the open floor. Spinning. Puts it up and oh, banks it in. Yes. Sensational play for Jeremy Lynn. And, and the start crowd on its feet again. Brown wants him, puts up the two-pointer, puts it in! Oh. Jeremy Lin with 31! How about measuring Gasol? Jeffries another rebound. Lin for three. Bang! <laughs> the Jeremy Lin show continues here at Madison Square Garden. It's all happened in less than a week. And he's hearing the MVP chance. The other factor in all of this, Mike, is that he's shooting over 
I mean, that, that's incredible, along with the fact that he's averaging over 25 points. And he is so energized, yes. his teammates, Hubie. Oh, it's great. It's been great for basketball in New York, no doubt about it. And it's been great for the fans. Gets it out to Blake. Barnes on the drive. Offensive foul. Jeremy Lin draws the charge. Now that was great defensive rotation. Has been nothing short of a miracle. Jeremy Lin's performance over the last four games, Clyde, defies any logical explanation. And what he has done has revitalized this Knicks team that, again, is playing without Carmelo Anthony and Amari Stoudemire. He's astounded everyone, the nation. The world is following Lin now as he did not disappoint a capacity crowd at the Garden, dishing and swishing. So everybody's enthralled and chanted with his antics going to the basket. Entered the game, only one of 11 from downtown, but astounding the Lakers. Kobe never heard of Linsani. Now he knows, spinning and winning here. But then this big basket was the coup de grace of the Lakers right in front of their bench. They had a bird's eye view in the Garden. He confirmed that at halftime of the Lakers game, Lynn came in the locker room and watched tape of the first half because he was upset he wasn't finding Chandler. Just a testament to a player learning on the fly. Rubio with the rising stars. Lynn inside lobbing to Chandler who finishes at the rim. Outside to Lynn, crosses over Widnauer and hits. Crowd oohing and ahhing, oh, that's sweet move. But he's hit two straight for the Knicks. Yeah, watch this dazzling move right there, a the nice crossover. Ten to give, five to shoot, here comes Lynn. Right down Broadway, contact, and he will shoot free throws. 4.9 on the clock. Chandler was lucky that he did not get a blocking foul. There's the foul right there. And then Novak, uh, the Knicks rarely execute well out of a timeout. This time they did it to perfection. Getting it to Novak on the elbow. So Lynn at the line. He is three of five, folks, from there thus far. And this crowd, he's hearing it from this hostile crowd now. Jeremy Lynn, who has been on this incredible week. Can he put the Knicks back in front? 4.9 remaining. It's a one-point Nick lead, and Rick Adelman will call for time. And the Knicks by one. Here's Rubio. Oh, oh. It over with his foot, and the Knicks will get it back with 1.7 remaining. The old foot trick. One possession game as we take another look. The old foot trick. Carroll's off of his foot. And just... There's Love. Love on a turnaround air ball, and the Knicks have stolen one here in Minneapolis. It's their fifth straight win, their longest of the season. Inexplicably. <laughs> this team continues to thrive, man. Everybody doing what they should do. An off night for Lynn, 8 for 24. Other guys picked up the shot. Shumpert with his 20. Novak, 15. So another extraordinary performance. Two player of the year. Average big numbers, but despite that, nearby Stanford, right across the street from Palo Alto High School. Utilize screen roll situations. Lynn, jumper, good. Block at five, four, Lynn, three, good! Lynn steps by, shot, good, it's a two. He allowed DeRozan to leave his feet. Set. Raptors, one of five, five turnovers in the quarter. At 87, Lynn with the ball in his hands. Fans on their feet. Five, four, win for the win! Got it!
tremendous. The green rising to the top. Tremendous elevation on that jump shot. Stage presence. Wow. At guard, at 6 3 from Harper, number 17. But they're playing much better recently. They're four and three in their last seven games. Lynn on the drive, draws the foul, puts it in, and one. And the first eruption of the night from the crowd. And that's what we mean about Lynn. He... Yeah, this is a young team, but they're shooting well and they're focused. They've beaten some good teams. Lynn gets inside. Oh, pretty play with the left hand. Quick outlet. Lynn pushing. Lynn alley up to field. Perfect pass and a strong finish. They've got a defensive team with Jeffries and Iman come in there. Alley up to Chandler! The Sacramento Kings just kind of standing around. <laughs> and also you saw Thornton putting no pressure whatsoever on Lynn, who drives inside, beats Donovan! Another beautiful assist, he's got four already! Yeah, the Knicks have scored. The ball defense is a big part of young players learning defense. Fields, open in the corner, that's good! Already, thing he does on the floor. And he just drew a charge as Evans goes barreling into him. Lynn alley up to Chandler. Those two starting to get a terrific feat. Chance to be a star. In other days, you wonder, what, what's your view on Evans? The last time we saw him, he was hard. Oh, Fields throws it down. What a perfect pass from Jeremy Lynn. Lynn gets inside, nice feed, Chandler the finish, the perfect way to end the half. Now the shot won't go, and Jeremy Lynn, another rebound for him. Nice pass, Jeffries the finish, and it's up to 23. Does he just hit the free man, meaning Jeremy Lynn, it's very difficult to see. And Fields on the outside hits the three because Lynn got past Marion. Lynn moves to get his own shot. And knocks it down, Jeremy Lin. High basketball like this. Gets to the basket. Nah. Flip inside to Stoudemire. And even though the defense is... Lin out of the corner for three. Got him all! And Mike D'Antoni points to J.R. Smith. For a second chance opportunity. Comes to the basket over Nowitzki for two. Finishes over the finals MVP after one at the Garden. The Knicks early lead joined by Rick Carlisle. Knicks. No back to catch. No back. J.R. Smith and Lynn. Jeremy on the drive and one for Jeremy Lynn. Got the bang in the bucket. The reason why that basket is so big. Jerry Lee Lynn had one turnover at halftime. An excellent job. Pressure in the backcourt. Oh, okay. and Lynn the steal to the basket. And right back. He's like Seth Myers to their feet. Great defense by Jeffries. Lynn the takeaway. He has 22 points, eight assists, three steals, four turnovers in this game. From Chinatown to Midtown, all over the city. There he's rolling. Lynn. In the paint, no back to three in the tie. Yeah. Got them all. Jeff Van Gundy always says that's the best three-point shooter he's ever seen. Game. And he headmans to Chandler for the exclamation point. The show continues on Broadway. And how about that? Jason Kidd, the first guy over there. And the respect that he is receiving from these uh, Maverick players. And the energy he's provided not just to the Knicks, but to one of the hardest to please fan bases in all of sports.